In this video, I will tell you everything I know about the two upcoming NVIDIA RTX 40 series graphics cards, RTX 4070 and RTX 4070 Ti. That includes their specs, performance in games, release date and price. But first, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. We know pretty much everything about RTX 4070 Ti directly from NVIDIA, because it is none other than the RTX 4080 12GB graphics card NVIDIA unlaunched a little while ago. Now the company is planning to release it under a different name that suits it better, hence the RTX 4070 Ti name. The information about the non-Ti RTX 4070 comes from a reliable leaker linked below. Both graphics cards will use a D104 GPU manufactured on TSMC N4 node. The main difference between RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti is that Ti uses the full AD104 chip featuring 7680 CUDA cores, while 4070 will use a cut-down version with 5888 CUDA cores, that is 23% fewer cores. Other than that, both cards will use the same 12GB of 21GB per second GDDR6X memory across a 192-bit bus, which means that both will have a 504GB per second bandwidth. The core clock boost will also be similar at around 2.6GHz. And that is where similarities end. RTX 4070 Ti features a 285W TDP and RTX 4070 will be rated a bit lower at 250 watts. Now let's discuss the performance. Earlier Nvidia officially released some benchmarks where RTX 4080 12GB, which has now been renamed to RTX 4070 Ti, is shown to be on par with RTX 3090 Ti from the previous generation. However, knowing Nvidia, I would say that 4070 Ti is more likely to be closer to RTX 3090 in terms of performance. Nvidia is known for doing heavy cherry picking when it comes to what the company shows in its marketing materials. Additionally, we have a good point of reference with hundreds of independent RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 benchmark results available online, so I have done my own calculations to present you with my performance prediction for RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti, compared to other current as well as previous generation graphics cards from both AMD and Nvidia. My calculations confirm that on average 4070 Ti should be close to RTX 3090 level of performance at 4K resolution. By the way, the recently launched $900 RX 7900 XT is sitting firmly above that. RTX 4070 should be close to RTX 3080. However, when it comes to 1440p performance, I expect 4070 Ti to be closer to 3090 Ti and RTX 4070 to be somewhere in between RTX 3080 and 3090. And here is what the performance would look like in some of the popular games if my calculations are correct. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K resolution on high quality preset, 4070 Ti should be able to produce around 49 FPS average. RTX 4070 sits a bit lower with 42 FPS average. At 1440p, using the same settings, 4070 Ti should be good for around 103 FPS average, and RTX 4070 should be able to take the spot just above RTX 3080 with 90 FPS average. Next up is Rainbow Six Siege, the game where Nvidia graphics cards are generally showing better results than AMD. I expect RTX 4070 Ti to render 119 FPS on average in this title at 4K resolution, while RTX 4070 should be landing just above the 3080 at around 103 FPS. At 1440p, 4070 Ti should be able to reach 230 FPS average, which would be great for 240Hz gaming. RTX 4070 with 201 FPS may also be able to saturate most high refresh rate monitors. 
Next up is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer. I picked this game as a counterweight to Rainbow Six Siege because this one heavily favors AMD GPUs. If I am correct in my calculations, then RTX 4070 Ti will be rendering around 107 FPS on average and 4070 will do 93 FPS. At 1440p with 175 FPS average, 4070 Ti would be a good option for most high refresh rate monitors in the 144 to 175 Hz range. RTX 4070 is not too far behind with 153 FPS average. I would like to remind you that these are just rough estimations. It is impossible to make an accurate prediction. But generally, that is the level of performance you should expect from RTX 4070 and 4070 Ti when they launch in 2023. Nvidia has not officially confirmed it yet, but the latest leaks suggest that the plan is to reveal the RTX 4070 Ti on January 3rd, then allow the reviews to go live on January 4th, and the first day it would be available to buy is planned for January 5th. The release date for RTX 4070 is currently unknown, so expect it sometime in 2023, I would say in the first half of the year. As for the price, I can only make an educated guess looking at how Nvidia and AMD priced their next-gen graphics cards so far. With the arrival of a $900 RX 7900 XT, AMD paved the way for Nvidia to price RTX 4070 Ti between $700 and $800. If the situation on the GPU market does not shift, then I would expect RTX 4070 to be priced at $600 to $700 when it arrives later next year. It is quite bad considering that in the previous generation RTX 3070 Ti launched with a $599 MSRP and RTX 3070 at $499. Unless something gives, both Nvidia and AMD are set to milk the market hard during this generation. But you know how the saying goes. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Are you planning to buy or upgrade to one of these cards? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.